Hello, hello. Okay, so today we are looking at ear training. This is so important. Um, I have a lot of students who are beginners who are a little unsure. Am I hitting the right note? Am I pitchy? Um, I have some students who, who know that they have some issues with this and I keep promising I'm gonna record a podcast or a practice so that you can just really work on fine tuning your pitch and get, getting confident with, um, with your pitch and have, making sure you're hitting all the right notes. So. The first thing that I really want to explain and one of the big things um, that I use for, for teaching is placement, <clears throat> excuse me. So what you really want to be aware of is low notes are going to resonate in your chest area. Higher notes, you might feel buzzing up and around your nose, your forehead, even weirdly enough, might feel like it's coming from above your head. Um, so yes, you're, you're gonna, f I want you to start being aware of where you feel notes resonating because if a low note is buzzing up and around your nose, you're more than likely going to be in the wrong spot, hitting the wrong note or pitchy or what have you, because that's not where that low note should live. So it's all about getting used to where the notes resonate in your instrument kind of a bit ooh, to get your head around but um for example ah uh, this note if you just hold your hand on your chest you're ah uh, you should feel some buzzing in your chest if you go Wee, you might feel a bit of buzzing in your nose or if you go Wee, you sing it and you hit push on your nose you'll feel a bit of buzzing coming through your nose okay um so there's there's movement in the resonance as your range and then pitch changes as you're singing so you want to feel that movement when you're singing if everything feels like it just is stuck in one place that might be um, an indication that you're singing in quite a monotone way that you are kind of stuck and you're not moving flexibly through your range you're not hitting the notes or not letting your instrument move through your range to be able to hit the notes so let's start off with we are just going to go for one note we're going to take this this is going to be really really um simple we're going to take take it real easy take it real slow here um so yeah you're just going to start we're going to go and just being aware as we're moving up if you can feel movement in that resonance throughout your instrument just taking note of where the notes live in your instrument. It's like a piano, hitting this note, this note always lives here on the keyboard. This note always lives here on the keyboard. It doesn't change. I don't come down on, on another day and oh, the notes have all moved around. It's the same in your instrument. The notes live in the same space in your body. So so that's kind of the physics thing of how, the, how we hear the note, the frequency of where it resonates and that's how it's gonna interact with your body. Totally nerd out with me. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go. Take your time. If you're not sure that you're hitting the note correctly, just take your time and explore and see. We'll see what happens. And don't panic. You don't have to be perfect. Our brains get in the way of our voices so much. So just trusting what you're doing. You might feel movement coming in already. Might be buzzing in a different spot. gonna pause because for the female voices if you're up here males if you're if you're down there males you're probably in a safe spot but the females are coming up to where we call our bridge or our break that 
are not sure whether it's up in that head area or that chest area. So again, be patient and explore your instrument. We're gonna learn where all of these notes live. We're not working on perfecting how they sound at this point. You're just getting used to where these notes live and when you know where they live, you can trust and support them. So. If you're a female voices, if you're up high, you'll be feeling this up in your nose. Male voices, you're coming around to that area, that wonderful bridge area that we all love. Um, so just again, flexibility, movement, let your voice move and explore what's happening. to get up to that note that is totally fine that is a high note if you manage to match and carry on along awesome okay now we're going to kind of look at a different way of thinking about the notes and your pitch we're going to break it down into a number form this is not music theory so don't worry you don't have to know or understand music theory we're just literally giving the number the notes numbers okay so what we're going to do we're going to start here and we're going to count one through five so male voices or lower voices can start there you're thinking about each note moving a step each note has its own space or its own home in your instrument just like each note has its own home and space on the keyboard or on the guitar um, I'm gonna tip the cap there you go this might help it's I think it's backwards the way that it's recording but if it helps it helps um, to kind of watch my fingers moving if it confuses you don't look at the camera. Um, it's always about what works, works, okay? So we're gonna one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, you're still kind of having trouble it's so funny how um people forget how to count when we're doing this because we're thinking about the melody the placement all the different things and then suddenly we forget how to count to five and back down again so don't feel silly if you forgot how to count for a brief moment there it happens to everybody um so now we're going to kind of break it up a little bit more if that last one kind of felt comfortable you're like okay i'm holding it together i feel like i'm staying in tune then we'll move on we're gonna break it down and we're just gonna pick out a few numbers so we're gonna go one three five three one and if the numbers completely confuse you 
just turn your turn that kind of counting brain off and you're gonna think about the melody and the movement again if i always like to imagine not climbing up but taking steps forward okay so give each note its own step to sit on thinking forward if we take away that climb up it eliminates a bit of that anxiety about hitting notes as well so let's just um so again just to remind we've got one two three four five we're just gonna hit the one three five don't worry this isn't music theory so don't get overwhelmed we're just picking numbers out of the we're picking the numbers out of the five notes that we're singing so we're going one three Each of these notes is going to feel quite far apart from each other. One, three, five, three, one. One, three, five, three, one. We'll do one more here. One, three, five, three, one. Now, where we run into problems is we sort of sit in the one and then we kind of just pull it up. So, one, three, five. That's where we get real pitchy is where we eliminate that movement and flexibility. The flexibility, the movement is key, okay? So if that one feels really comfortable, really sorry, you have to move to get to the three. You can't just push the one, three, five, because that's where we're gonna go flat. That's where you're gonna get tension. So just think, each note is different, okay? One, three, five, three, one. And as you get used to where each note lives, you can start adding more weight and you can get a stronger tone. You can start working stylistically. So for example, you might be kind of here and be like, one, three, five, three, one. Like completely different strengths on each note because again, they're in a very, they're each in a different place. But once you get used to where they live, you can add strength, you can support them. With one, three, five, three, one. But you have to get know where each note sits before you can strengthen it it's like going to the gym you got to get your form before you add the weight otherwise you're going to hurt yourself by sort of one three five three one which we're avoiding so we're going to explore a few higher ones if you're if you're still with me which i'm sure you are if you're not pause go scream into a pillow or something and come back <laughs> one three So if you have questions, if you want more of this, <laughs> let me know. I will create more of these, but these are gonna just kind of help you fine tune stuff so you can go back, you can go over it and just really start fine tuning yourself. There are apps on your phones that can help you with your pitch and stuff. Sometimes we get a bit too much into our heads. I want you to start thinking about movement, flexibility and, and matching the notes in a way that feels good, feels comfortable, that there's movement through your range. You're not just pulling up and down because a lot of times that's what causes pitchiness. It's not necessarily that you can't hear the note. It's just that you're attacking it in the wrong way. So please let me know if you would like to um, dig into this further. If you want some help with your ear training Emma at rocketvocalstudios.com. That's R O C K I T vocalstudios.com. Follow me on Instagram at Rocket Vocal Studios. And uh, yeah, please do let me know if you have any questions at all about ear training. Uh, you can visit the website, rocketvocalstudios.com, and that's R O C K I T vocalstudios.com. And there's pricing packages, all those kind of things. If you uh, want to book a one on one session, I do virtual and in person. So I would love to help you out if you would like to dig more into this. Um, so yeah, remembering, just you're counting. It's not music theory, you're not learning the notes. Just one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. And then obviously things change when you're going not just straight through a major scale. There's like the jaws. There are things that you can also think of, right? Okay, so like jaws one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. okay? 
so that's like your your little semitone there thinking about jaws um the one to five star wars whatever <laughs> so we got so one five four three two one that kind of helps with that as the star wars yeah, star wars and that um just for reference if you're still with me is the one goes up to the eight which is the same note but it's an octave away okay so again just for fun star wars Okay, so there's certain things that you can think about. Um, uh, and then somewhere over the rainbow is an octave jump. Somewhere over the rainbow. So if you can think of little things that will help you remember these jumps and this movement, um, or to remind you when you're singing a song and be like, oh, this section sounds just like the jump in a certain other song. Sometimes it can really help you. Um, I'm gonna stop talking because I don't wanna overwhelm you and confuse you now. So uh, again, please let me know how you get on and hopefully this has helped. Um, yeah, good luck. Don't overthink, don't stress yourself out, don't overjudge. Remember your instrument is, is a moving thing, flexibility, movement, resonance, all of that stuff going on. Also, one more thing. If you're tired, if you're stressed, if you didn't get good sleep, if you've just eaten, again, your instrument is, is a living, breathing thing. So if you're having a rough day, don't be hard on your voice because your voice will be the first thing to kind of display that you're a little stressed or tired or what have you. So be kind to yourself, be kind to your voice. If you have questions, let me know. I am here for you. Good luck and keep working on your ears.